What's going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto. By now you probably know my name is Nick Hellman and if you don't, that means you probably need to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that share button. Yes, we will do an RPD giveaway tonight as well. So in the comment section below, leave your Rapids RPD wallet address or your Telegram handle if you're a part of the RPD tip bot. And then we'll draw that live during our next live show. We'll actually probably have two winners because we owe you guys from the last live show as well. Obviously, this is a recording, unfortunately. So first of all, let's just start with the coin market cap. We're going to go over a few news articles, a little bit of fundamentals and technical analysis as well. I believe the Todd father, Todd Butterfield, will be getting on here with some TA um, like he did yesterday's live show that he did by himself. We have been having some nice buy signals of accumulation via Wyckoff and Elliott Wave. Those are starting to pay off. With Litecoin ripping and roaring from $20 into the 50s. Yes, we had buys as low as $22, accumulation levels in the 30s as well. And then we had some profit taking up around $50, finally starting to pay off. Todd believes we're still going to go sideways to higher. I actually have an order to get back some Litecoin around $48.51, right around that lower level support. Looking to grab a wick down there once again and make a move to the upside. Another 10 to 15% is what we're looking at. And then hopefully take some profits up there once again. We are seeing green across the board, guys. That is awesome. Bitcoin over $4,000, at least according to Coin Market Cap. So we will take that. Ethereum up close to 150. XRP flat at 33 cents for a while now. Maybe there's an opportunity there. Uh, you guys know I'm not, I don't really follow XRP all that much or even trade it all that much either. That is more Todd's thing. EOS to 391, up another 9.5%. If you are part of the Patreon and Discord, you know that we're taking some profits up here. And you know that we were buying EOS at for 6,301 sats. It is currently up to 10,000 sats. That is a big gainer, and uh, we'll take that one as well. Litecoin has been doing great. XLM has been a lagger, but it is finally seeing some green. One of the articles that we're going to talk about is for Stellar XLM. It has propelled the price up about 10%, but nothing too crazy. And I can't believe Binance Coin just keeps stair-stepping higher, even with all the FUD or the truth that you want to believe going on in the ecosystem about Binance, CZ, and others. Binance Coin is back up to $11, over doubling itself in the past week or two. Pretty crazy stuff there. I do own a little bit. I told you guys you guys always should own a little BNB. Unfortunately, I do use it for trading fees. So with a lot of this swing trading, my bag of BNB is uh, quite too small for my liking right now. I'm hoping for some kind of pullback with all this stuff going on, but we're just not seeing it. The biggest winners for today are Repo, Crypto.com, Aelf, and Ontology. Congratulations to all the holders of those cryptos. And if you are part of the Patreon and Discord, and even if you catch us live and pay attention, we had a buy on ONT at 1,501 sats. Currently, we touched 2,000, took some profits, another 33% gainer in the bag, looking to buy it back on some form of a pullback. If the pullback doesn't happen, guess what? We traded with Bitcoin, and we're still in this market, riding it much, much higher. All right, so the first article I want to take a look at is this. MasterCard teams up with Stellar and starts building on the blockchain. Pretty interesting. After Visa and JP Morgan, its competitors, MasterCard is now starting to build on the blockchain after teaming up with none other than Stellar Lumens. We know Visa Card's doing their own thing. JP Morgan made their own sheet coin, JPM coin. You know, Jamie Dimon thinks Bitcoin is a scam, but JPM coin is the real deal. I would not be participating on using, buying, or supporting JPN coin. Just food for thought. Token.io Limited revealed that they have been chosen by MasterCard, which processes 3.4 billion transactions every day. We would need a lot of scaling to take even a fraction of that amount of transactions. Develop, to develop an open banking hub. An official press release says that Token.io will develop MasterCard connectivity layer, helping to connect merchants and retailers to financial services. Quote, they provide a financial API, token OS, and as well as a dollar-backed stablecoin, all using Stellar XLM's blockchain. We welcome the chance to work with MasterCard and lab leverage Token's open API platform to address these issues at scale and together accelerate the global adoption of open banking. It goes on and says the part this partnership with MasterCard will allow the company to support and use the blockchain tech. 
but there are no words whether they also plan to use digital assets. This is not MasterCard's first look into blockchain tech, though. They actually put a bid in, $298 million, a bid on Ripple's partner, Earthport, in order to expand its offering and cross-border remittances. That was turned down. Ripple's affiliation was turned down as well. Where did they find themselves on? Stellar XLM. Now, although they don't use, they don't talk about whether or not they're going to allow the use of cryptocurrencies or really if they're going to be using XLM at all, which would be a great value proposition for the cryptocurrency we all trade. That's probably why we're only seeing about a 10, 11% rally here. But what this does do, in my philosophy, is utilization of a network drives network appreciation. So although the XLM might not have uh, direct benefits from this MasterCard integration if they don't use the XLM cryptocurrency, I still believe that XLM is uh, going to find value as its underlying Stellar Lumens network uh, garnishes some user base. We'll see how this one all plays out. Another good big corporate partner for XLM, we do know they are also partnered with IBM. IBM is going out and creating a lot of solutions for traditional companies and for shipping agencies, yet XLM doesn't seem to really be used for those either. So my philosophy will be put to the test over this next year as all these traditional companies start using the Stellar blockchain and whether or not that Lumens or XLM cryptocurrency garnishes some value. On to the next major topic for today. This is huge, guys. This is huge. You can now receive tips on Twitter using the Lightning Network. Thanks to Tippin, you can now send Bitcoin tips to Twitter users using Lightning Network, insanely easy and super fast. Tippin is a Chrome and Firefox browser extension that enables tipping on Twitter by adding a tip button on every single tweet. All tips are made using Bitcoin through the Lightning Network, instant transactions, even of a few cents. With almost zero fee, you can tip somebody five pennies and they'll get almost five pennies. Furthermore, this is the first really interesting use case of the Lightning Network, which is the second layer solution implemented last year on blockchain in order to scale its transactions. We don't want to pay, you know, right now it's like 16 to 40 cents for a Bitcoin transaction. That's okay. At one point it did blow it up to $40 uh, for a little bit uh, during that massive rally. Lightning Network has seen some interesting use cases. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, where we could all draw on the notepad each little square was one Satoshi in cost, so if you wanted to draw something really big, it would cost you a thousand Satoshis or something like that. But this is big for a couple of reasons. We'll read on and then I'll give you a further in-depth look at my opinion on why this really matters. Every user that want to enable the possibility of receiving chips of tips just has to log into tippin.me web app with his Twitter account. So you do have to trust tip in here a little bit. So I was going to give it a few days, see if any developers see any kind of backend source code where they can rip you off or take your crypto. Uh, and then if not, I was going to add this to my Twitter because why not support Bitcoin if I support cryptocurrencies? And I recommend that you guys all do the same. Once this is done, a custodial wallet to receive and manage Bitcoins through the Lightning Network will be generated and people will be able to tip you. Hopefully I can send you guys some Satoshis and you guys can send me some Satoshis as well for some good content. Furthermore, you could also use the web button that Tippin generates for you and paste it into your blog or website. This way you can receive tips anywhere that you can paste a URL. Simply to tip, in order to tip someone you need to use the Lightning Network and to use the Lightning Network you need, to, you need a Lightning Wallet. They recommend Eclair Wallet if you want to check that out. It is an open source wallet as well. Here is why it is important. So this is awesome that they're adding this to Twitter. Why? Because even people that don't know about cryptocurrency will see that lightning bolt and wonder, what is that? I click on it. It says tip Bitcoin. Oh, what is Bitcoin? This is getting pretty mainstream. I thought this was for criminals and drug dealers. Now it's on Twitter. I use Twitter. Could I be making some Bitcoin for my tweets? I mean, I have... 1,000 followers, 10,000 followers, 100,000 followers. I always get likes, 10 likes, 100 likes, 1,000 likes. Could those be Bitcoin Satoshis? Now you got some people interested, and you got people looking to accept it. That is the first step, because it is very easy for them to add this integration to their own personal Twitter simply by signing up with a username and password. Now, step number two, and the big step, is to get them to actually start investing in Bitcoin, get them that interested, and also to get them to send Bitcoin using this tipping app. Because although it is super easy to set up to accept it, it's not as easy 
to give it. You need to actually set up your own personal Lightning node or Lightning connection. Now, why is this good? Because the Lightning network right now is still in its very much in its infancy, and a lot of users have not jumped the gun and started participating on the Lightning network or figuring out how to run their own node or their own switch, their own line of credit, if you will. But I think this might get you to do it because that is the only way that you can actually start to tip other people is to dive on in, learn more about the Lightning Network, and uh, we'll read a little bit more here. In order to tip someone, you need to use the Lightning Network, and to use that, oh, I already kind of went over that. Once you downloaded the wallet, and once you deposited some Bitcoins, say $5 is fine, you, you will need to create a channel in order to make Lightning transactions. So you actually need to set up a channel, connect to tipping, in order to make it work, which means you're going to understand how to use the second layer solution, and then maybe... Just maybe all those haters like Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin SV do not buy a Bitcoin SV scam. I'll call it a scam. I don't use the word scam very often. No. I won't say the same about Bitcoin Cash because Roger Veer is trying to address some of the issues Bitcoin does have. But the same issues that Lightning Network and the second layer solutions are trying to solve. We'll see which one wins out. You know, this is kind of like when you had HD uh, video uh, players and Blu-ray video players. And I worked at Best Buy at the time. We're like, man, which one's going to win? Well, you probably might not even have heard of an HD video player because Blu-ray did win. Now, I don't think that uh, Bitcoin is going to be the king or there's only going to be one cryptocurrency in this ecosystem. But we have to realize that as cryptocurrencies come into existence two, three, four, five years down the road, if there is a lot of overlap, some of those are going to fade away because people just do it better. You're going to have the network effect, the brand recognition, and the superior technology. So we'll see who wins there on that front. Uh, but definitely check out this tipping. If you want to see a tweet about it, look up at Jack. At Jack, yes, the founder of Twitter and Square Cash App, as well as Square, loves Bitcoin. So, of course, he retweeted it. You can go on that. That means he's going to support it. That means he's not going to put any blockades up for this tipping application. He probably is a venture capitalist investor behind it if you really wanted to dig deeper into the public funding of this. Uh, but exciting nonetheless. A real use case for Bitcoin that I think is going to get in front of a lot of viewers that aren't that don't even know what crypto or Bitcoin really is. We'll see how that affects the price moving forward. This just got dropped today, so I don't think this was the reason for this rally we've seen over the past week. But I think it's something that, to, to look forward to here uh, from a macro point of view over the next couple months. Quickly, there is a Vertcoin giveaway going on. Shout out to Kanan. He let me know about this, so I got to let all of you guys know about it as well. If you go to my Twitter, I did retweet this. Essentially, you come over here to Gleam.io. You have a chance to win 250 Vertcoin, which did happen to uh, double in price this past week, uh, simply by doing a couple things here. If you follow Vertcoin on Twitter, for example, you get one raffle ticket. If you follow CoinGecko, you get one. So the more tasks you do, pretty basic stuff as far as subscribing or following, you earn some Vertcoin, or you have a chance of winning Vertcoin. Uh, so there's going to be 13 lucky winners, 250 Vertcoin total. Uh, it's not going to break the bank. You're not going to be a millionaire. But in these hard times, you can pick up 10, 20 bucks worth of Vertcoin, maybe on its way to being worth $100 uh, simply by participating here. And you might even already do some of these. So you might have some free raffle tickets out there. It's worth taking a look. You know, I like to pass on the freebies to you guys. Pretty interesting tweet here. This is what we, we try to preach here on Learn Crypto during this entire bear market. Yes, we're looking to make some trades. We're looking to make some money. But down at the lows, we said 3000 to 3200 You shouldn't be trading. You should be accumulating. And look what you have here. Because you need to keep your mind open for the long term. If you're still here during this bear market, you believe in cryptocurrencies. You're not going anywhere. So uh, here's a nice little tweet to put things in perspective. If you invested $100 in the Amazon IPO, Today, after 22 years, it'll be worth approximately $94,000. Yes, 22 years is a long time. But if that's in your 401k retirement account, you just turn every $100 into 94000 You're probably a millionaire, even if you're, you know, an early in your professional career like myself. Uh, you're getting several hundred dollars every two weeks into that 401k for you to invest. If you invested $100 into the ETH ICO today, only after five years, it is approximately worth $50,000, even after ETH has lost 90% of its value at the all-time highs. ETH, that would have been worth somewhere around $500,000 per $100 you put in the ICO. Whoa, pretty crazy stuff. If you invested $100 in Bitcoin back in 2009, 
you know, around when it came out after 10 years, that $100 in Bitcoin just by simply hodling. That's not saying you traded. That's not saying you got some of the ETH ICO that outperformed, Litecoin that has outperformed. That $100 after 10 years would be worth over $10 million, even at Bitcoin's price of $4,000. That means when Bitcoin was at all-time highs, that would have been worth a whopping, what, $40 million, roughly. That is pretty crazy. He then goes on to say, we are complaining about a bear market, dot, dot, dot. Now, that is probably why you guys are still sticking around. You've made some money, or you're new to the space, but you believe in it. You've bought at all-time highs, but now you are learning a little bit, hopefully from us and others, dollar cost averaging in, ladder trading, uh, protecting your capital, um, trying to mitigate risk when investing in projects. That is what we're here to do. I think the upside is huge. I, hopefully you guys took some of our buying opportunities from our recent live shows over the past month. They have been excellent from the software, TradingView, Elliott Wave, Wyckoff, uh, Wyckoff, Patreon, Discord. But there's always more opportunities. You need to get your emotions in check. You need to, to hold off the FOMO. And you'll have another opportunity as this space is just getting started. And I know, I know we will reach all-time highs on many of these cryptocurrencies. And especially Bitcoin. It's got the it's got the network effect. It's got the finite supply. It is going places. And if you don't understand that, look at the institutions getting involved. Whether it be JP Morgan, ERSX, Back Exchange. They're all coming into the space for one reason. They see the potential in this asset class. They see that if Bitcoin can be the digital gold, look at the crazy numbers you would have per Bitcoin. That is also why it's very important that cryptocurrencies have a finite supply and can be broken down to the millionth place, eight decimal points, using Satoshis. Because if they get to that high price, instead of us using one Bitcoin for a massive purchase, it'll be maybe 100 Satoshis equivalent for that same purchase. I was going to look at a few charts, but we kind of touched base with those as far in the beginning, talking about EOS when we sold it, when we bought it, talking about uh, ONT as well. And the only one that I guess I will mention is Zen. And the reason I said I wanted to talk about Zen, you guys know I've been following Zen for a while. I have nodes in their network, and I think they're going to have a very prosperous future. But the reason I bring it up is they have been having this continuous wick action, which is massive wicks, gives it all back. And then if you even go to the smaller time frame here you can see it even better massive wick gives it back massive wick massive wick massive wick i don't know what's going on there uh historically back in the day these kind of wicks were happening when grayscale added them to their platform so maybe uh for fiduciary and regulatory reasons they got to kind of market buy for institutional investors i'm not sure all i know is uh after watching this occur time after time you can see it here and here and here uh us over on discord have been trying to play that i do have a trading bag of zen that is separate from my node bag, trying to accumulate some more, maybe a little Bitcoin as well. Um, so really, I'm just kind of riding these wicks. It's hard for me to really get on here and explain it. That's why Discord does help, because it's so instant. Um, but if you are a Zen holder, just know that I recognize this is occurring as well. Historically, that was very good for that meaning that people are accumulating, institutions are accumulating behind the scenes. And boom, Grayscale announcement was then followed by Binance announcement. Uh, but we'll see what happens here. Um, just know... If you see a massive wick like this, and we can check out some other indicators. I got volume and moving averages down here. Maybe we take a look at RSI if I can find it. If you see something like this, goes crazy oversold, and a one straight green bar on the hourly, you might want to try to take some profits. Now, could this continue? Sure. But usually when it's a continuation, it's going to be like this. You know, something a little more subtle. Once a straight up one spikes into the oversold, historically... It is giving it all back, plus some. In some cases, I usually just try to uh, just catch it somewhere up here, and I'm happy with like a 50% or 68% Fib retracement. Uh, that way I'm in, just in case it doesn't do this full retrace uh, moving forward. Is That's my opinion, because I'm very long-term on the project. When you're trading, you got to decide if you're accumulating Bitcoin. If you really love the project, never sell your entire bag, and then be a little more uh, risk-averse when, when finding re-entries. Don't be too greedy. Um, but if it's just a quick scalp, and boom, that's a big winner. Uh, so I'll just be watching Zen if you're a big time holder because you have an opportunity. I think in Discord, every one of these wicks, I was making 10, 15, 20 uh, Zen. So, I mean, that at five bucks a pop at current price, that adds up a lot, especially considering I'm going to hodl those earned Zen. And at all times high, Zen was around $65 as a brand new project. Uh, so you can see how the things really start to ha add up when this kind of weird wicking action is occurring. So maybe keep an eye on that one. Couple last things. 
Yes, uh, there is going to be a massive event for cryptocurrency. Bitcoin Ben's world's largest crypto meetup. The actual Guinness Book of World Records has gotten back to them. They will be there to see if this can be a Guinness Book of World Records setting crypto event. If so, you want to make sure to be a part of history and get down there. Uh, I think it's like 20 bucks a ticket. April 6, 2019, Bitcoin Ben and the Wild West Crypto Show invite you to this meetup. Uh, it's down near Austin, Texas in Blanco, Texas. 20 bucks entry. 100% of it goes to charity. Can't really get into uh, who's all going to be sponsors there. But let's just say a lot of the Rapids team will be there as well. I will be there. So you can come see me. You can come see some of the individuals from Rapids. Uh, they're actually flying in from the UK, from New York, from all over the world, Australia, Ireland, uh, to go to this event as well. So it should be pretty cool. Um, if we can set a Guinness Book of World Records, you will be part of history. That is awesome. I know Rapids is doing some giveaways and some freebies, and they have a, some really cool prototype card, debit cards they're going to be giving away. So, I mean, there's other projects that are going to be down there as well doing giveaways. You can meet some of the team face-to-face, -face, see not what you're investing in, but who you are investing in in this ecosystem. And then the reason this is going to be cool, down in Texas, they're doing it at this location where this is like a, a set-up city that has been used uh, in the movie theaters as studios, which is really cool. So all the events can be happening here. All these buildings are functional. There's a pub, there's a little white chapel, there's a restaurant, etc. And then attached to it is also one of the biggest uh, old buggy museums from the horses. So it's going to be pretty exciting down there. They're going to have a mechanical bull. They're going to be barbecuing. There's going to be some carnival rides, crypto, uh, crypto tables set up. Uh, there's going to be some live painting done, do, done by uh, Nanu Burks, so they're going to do a big live mural, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency mural, uh, but nonetheless, I just want to let you know, I'll be down there for 20 bucks, charity, part of cryptocurrency history, if it makes it again, Spoko World Records, why not? If you want more information, head over to wildrestcryptoshow.com, or you can just type in Bitcoin Ben's World Largest Crypto Meetup on Google, and I'm sure you'll find it, and hopefully... I'll see you down there. Before we head out, one last piece of news. Yes, I got to show Rapids a little bit. I won't even go through all the announcements because it seems like it's every day for these guys. But if you don't know what Rapids is, head over to rapidsnetwork.io. Learn a little more. The biggest news today is they will be integrated with SwirlPay. If you don't know what SwirlPay is, essentially, SwirlPay and WooCommerce are a plug-in for all Word WordPress websites. 22% of the top 1 million e-commerce websites can utilize WooCommerce or SwirlPay to accept Rapids RPD starting next week. SwirlPay also offers some of the large cap cryptos as well, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, just to name a couple. Rapids RPD will be on there as well. It'll be exciting to now have uh, RPD spendable on any e-commerce website. You can stake it, you can note it, you can tip it, you can send it, or you can now spend it. Welcome to Rapids. Hopefully you guys take a look and we'll see what it's all about. Get those nodes running. If you have any questions, join their uh, social media channels, Telegram, Twitter, whatever it may be. More good news there. That's about all I got today, you guys. You know, we went over a little technical analysis, a lot of news, some fundamentals. Look, I'm still very bullish on this ecosystem. Do I think that uh, you should buy, buy, buy right now? I mean, there might be a little bit of sideways or pullbacks. I'm not going to say to FOMO, but I, what I will say is all these prices... Yes, we're getting excited. We doubled our money in Litecoin. We made a nice 40% gainer in Bitcoin. We did well on ONT with 33% gainer on Discord. But when you look at these prices, these are still fractions, even from the, the the last 2019 bubble. I really think that the winners in this ecosystem that garnish utilization and mainstream adoption, uh, man, it's going to be a sight to see. It's going to be quite unbelievable, and you have the opportunity right ahead of you. I would say to keep tuning in to Learn Crypto. Keep doing your own due diligence, your own research, and start participating in these networks. It is the bear market, but you can stake to earn passive income. You can set up a master node for way cheaper prices than you're ever going to be able to, to to earn passive income. You can learn how to mine. Even if you have a gaming computer, yes, you only can make 40 Raven coin, as you can see right here, a day or something like that. But look at this. This is like one week of mining on, on this computer right here whenever I'm not using it for gaming or whatever. 569 Raven. Yes, it's only a couple dollars at current prices. Yes, it's only a couple dollars, but maybe I want to use these to build my own asset or to participate on one of their dApps. So just to keep your mind open um, and continue to participate as much as you can in this crypto ecosystem. If you're already here watching this, just take a little bit longer to go the extra step 
and you'll be thanking yourself and hopefully be thanking us in the future. So until next time, guys, stay tuned for your daily updates on cryptocurrencies right here at Learn Crypto. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and leave that Rapids RPD address in the comment section below for your chance to win 10,000 RPD and get them staking. Peace out, my friends. We will see you later.